consistent moderation. And I say that because in the last four months, we've actually seen a decrease in job loss over the, the span of the last 12 months. And last year in January, as you know, we were losing 700,000 jobs a month. Um, that doesn't say that uh, this is acceptable. It's not. Um, we continue to see that um, there's fluctuation here, and we know that we, now is a time for us to make those investments in our best resource, and that's our human capital. Like any recession, it takes a while for us to uh, actually begin to provide that recovery, and this is something that happens, I think, traditionally. I'm not an economist, but I do, I do feel somewhat optimistic when I go out and I hear and see on the ground that people are actually being called back to work and that additional shifts are being put into place at plants, auto plants that have been closed because now they're going to be developing a new hybrid vehicle or lithium batteries or, or solar panels that are being developed now in, in the sharp industries, in uh, communities in, in rural America where people are, are, are happy that they have a good paying job and that's going to be the future. So those are, those are spots of, of confidence that I have that we can continue to build on. For most people right now, if they're feeling that there isn't anything for them, I would ask them to contact our offices, Department of Labor, our um, you know, one-stop shop centers that are available for them, and to contact us and go online, dol.gov, and find out where the nearest uh, facility is and to come in and see us right away.